Now in beauty, Trudy is here to talk SPF and what to choose when shopping for sunscreen now that summer is on our doorstep. Morning, Trudy. Morning. I think we've all got the message that, you know, you've got to be safe in the sun, but what do you need to look for? What's a checklist when you're shopping for sunscreen? It all starts with the type of sunscreen you use. And actually, I get asked that question a lot, mineral versus chemical. And I think we get hung up on the word chemical when actually everything is a chemical in a beauty product. And it can be natural or organic, but it's still a chemical compound. So decide whether you want a physical or a chemical screen. A physical screen or a mineral screen contains zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, and it's a physical barrier to the sun, so it reflects the rays once they hit your skin. Chemicals, avabenzone, oxybenzone, they actually absorb the rays. So they both work really effectively. It just depends what you like and what you want. Okay. Now, one thing that we always think about too is what do the numbers mean? SPF 30, 45, I know, that's 50. really confusing. I mean, they make it so confusing. Look, it really means the amount of time that you can stay out in the sun. So an SPF 30 will give you about 30 minutes protection at about 97%. A 50 only gives you 1% more and only a few minutes more. Huh. Also, it depends on how much you apply. Now, you're supposed to apply two tablespoons full of sunscreen. Where to no what? One, to, to your face or your body. Nobody does that. You know, that's a lab test. That's what they, how they test sunscreen. So an SPF 30 probably gives you an SPF 15 protection. So you probably only can stay out in the sun for about 10 minutes before you burn. And you'll know that yourself, you know, you really only need a few minutes in the sun, even with sunscreen, and you can feel the heat. Yeah. And definitely if you've got pale skin, you can go quite pink. Okay. What does broad spectrum mean? That means it covers all of the rays. So there's UVA and UVB are the most common. The UVA are the ageing rays, and we don't want them anywhere near us because you can't feel the heat from those. And the UVB are the ones that cause burn, but there's also infrared rays and the blue light rays that we get from our, our screens and things like that. So a broad spectrum or multi-spectrum, if that's written on the um, label, means that it's going to protect you against all of those rays. So yeah. that's a good one to go for. So what if you're working inside all the time and you don't get outside much during the day, do you still need to wear an SPF? Well, you do really, because there's incidental sun damage when you're wandering out to get your lunch in the sun. Um, also, if you sit by a window, rays will penetrate through the window. So if you get into the habit, like you brush your teeth, of just putting on a little bit of sunscreen under your makeup or under your BB cream, it's really great protection during the day. 365 days of the year because the sun doesn't actually need to be shining for you to get sun damage. Yeah, well we've all had that time where we've been hit by the clouds, a yeah. cloudy day and got really sunburned. Totally. So what about your skin colouring? If you do, if you have really dark skin, do you still need to wear that SPF? Look, it's interesting, some stats that I found online, um, the Cancer Society say that darker skins are actually more prone to melanoma than lighter skins because they don't think they need sunscreen because they have a lot of melanin in their skin, but in fact they do. And, you know, not such a fun fact, Bob Marley died of melanoma. Mm. Not a lot of people know that either. So the darker the skin, you are not exempt. And unfortunately, skin cancer doesn't discriminate. You know, no. anyone can get it at any skin colouring. What about safe for the environment? Is my sunscreen killing our ocean and coral reefs? Look, reef? yes it is. Unfortunately, it's bleaching the coral reefs. So it's um, oxybenzone at the moment. But there's also some um, research to say that mineral screens have very tiny nanoparticles and the zinc oxide is also affecting our coral reefs. So there's a lot of work to be done there. Um, Hawaii were the first country to ban that in May this year. So I think you'll see a follow through with that, particularly other island nations with, you know, coral reefs. It's so hard to figure it's out what really to do difficult. Um, this us one is products. coral reef. It's safe. Is it? Cibamed. You're the first one I've known in New Zealand to have that free of the um, the damaging um, chemical. This so is nice. This, I just put this on my on it's hand. It's a spray. Now a lot of people hate sunscreen but a spray is a really good one because you can just spritz it on your skin. It's easy to go. That one is it keeps your pH balanced. So very good if you've got sensitive skin. And it skin. doesn't feel greasy on my skin. I Not really like that one. It really evaporates like it. really quickly. Um, this is great technology. Hydro Boost from Neutrogena. They've got their Helioplex um, protection in there but it's a water gel and it actually smells like a cocktail. It smells like a melon cucumber mm, cocktail. Yeah, okay. Disappears immediately. So brilliant also if you hate that sticky feeling, that residue on your skin. I'm going to have great hands. Yeah, you are. You're going to be mm. oh, great for good. driving too. Backs of hands while you're driving. Um, this one I bought in Alta MD. This is a great sunscreen if you've had any procedures, like any laser treatment. It's tinted. It's got hyaluronic acid in it. Um, you can buy that through Prescription Skincare in Auckland or the um, About Face clinics around Beautiful. Auckland. And just quickly this great one. Great instead of your foundation. And I bought this one in New Zealand brand Skinnies. They have launched a fabulous 
price range for kids. Now, you know when you have to chase kids around to put sunscreen mm. on and they won't put it on? This uses Oranga Gel, which is a delivery system that's waterless. And you don't need very much. It goes a long way. Awesome. Brilliant brand. You can buy that mm. online as well. Beautiful. Hey, Trudy, thank you so much. Now, for more from Trudy, you can head to her website, pteq.co.nz.